what we have to do is grab a much and piece of paper towel and put them like that and as you can see I cut out a small piece of paper towel and then I need to roll it up and I need to roll it up as neatly as I can just like that so the head is still sticking out and just do with all of them and now put it on the side I'm gonna do a couple of them now we're gonna bring in the candles and as you can see I have melted them now I'm gonna blow them out and I need to deepen the match the front like coat it very well I mean the back and now just grab it and dip it in the other half as you can see I just dip the front in and then turn it over and front and the back and dip it all the way in so it's all fully coated and let it sit to dry off the best way to do it is grab one of those wax melters you know but in the survival situation if you don't have one you can make those matches with just the candles you can see and it's still uh, wet and still come doing a whole bunch of them just prep them up let's wait till they dry out and we'll test them out so I got glass of water let's drop them in you see they unsinkable as well because of the wax let's take one out if we want to dry it out pretty well then what we want to do is scrape up the all the wax from over there because we don't want too much wax and this way we're gonna open the striker and we can strike it so it will light up so now let's strike it and keep it down here at first and now it's gonna work like a candle for a while but you can just put it somewhere so it will catch on and start on fire on every 9 volt battery it says plus and minus it tells you which one is plus so this one is plus this is where 9 volt battery is gonna go you, you're gonna hold it like that and you see this part you're gonna grab a piece of metal like your ordinary Kowski and you see the light is on let go is off so that means it's working it's conducting the key will work so now I can just duct tape it together uh, charger and just duct tape them together and make sure they touch them. so I don't have to hold them that easy but you can hold them as well so now let's test it I'm gonna plug it in into my phone you see this is all one wire and then attach it to here make sure plus and minus and you see my phone turned on automatically because I attached it to the battery so the energy is going to the phone so and the phone going to turn on and start charging so you see it says charging and there is a lightning on the battery so but what if I let it go you see the charging is stop saying that it's charging you need 23 bricks like that they come with red or white whatever and you're gonna need some kind of metal net just like that anything will work And of course don't forget to pull out this brick on the bottom you can do it in the beginning or, on, or at the end and you see when you're gonna put wood over here you're gonna burn it and the air gonna go through here and fire gonna come out from the top right here and it's gonna get the hotter super nice so this way you can cook on top of it really easily and super easy to make so this is simple the air gonna come from here and the fire gonna come from here so every fire need oxygen so you got plenty of oxygen coming from here and this is all the heat is coming over here so this is gonna get real hot and you can cook on it and in this video I'm gonna show you very cool survival tool this is called pocket chainsaw yeah, let's go.
That was fast, huh? Look how thick it is. So any kind of nail polish you see, mine is pretty cheap, 350. And what you're gonna do is grab matches, and this is stack anyway matches. And you wanna coat it with nail polish. Like all around. And this is the wax paper. I put it so they don't stick to it or easy to take it off. And I'm gonna do it to a few of them. As you can see, nothing special. Just grab a nail polish and put it on the match. If you want, you can even dip the match into a nail, nail polish, just like that. And just set it down. And then you wanna leave it and wait till they're gonna dry out and then you can do the other side. And you wanna wait for a few hours till that dries off and then we're gonna check it out and try it and see if it works. So as you can see it dried off and it, this is strike anywhere matches and you see the nail polish all over the match and it should strike anyways. Let's test it if it's gonna strike. Yeah, and it works. So now let's try it in the water. So we're gonna drop all these matches in the water and make them really, really damp. And now we're gonna test them out because this is a waterproof matches. Okay, you see they've been soaking for a little bit. Now let's take one out. What you wanna do is grab a shot or something and dry off the match. Just slowly kind of shake off all the water so there is no moisture. And let's take it. And you see, it slides up even though this match was in the water. And it burns pretty great too.